Hello everyone, welcome to my short video on how to produce a finishing schedule in AkiCAD. In most cases, our tutorials are based on how to use design and other tools to assemble a BIM model. But in the aspect of BIM, um, information is the most important part of the project. Hence, I'm going to show you guys um, ways of extracting information or extracting finishes as an information from our model. So finishing schedule guys are a form of a product specification writings to outline materials on a construction of a project. Without any further ado, let's get started. This is an example of what you are going to look at. It's an example of a finishing schedule or a finishing specification. It's based on um, usage of zones and usage of property uh, parameters. So if you open one of the views or one of the floor plans of this project, you see everything or all the spaces here are labeled using zones accordingly. So as you know, guys, zones has a lot of features that you can um, leverage, even the performance of the building, performance energy wisely. You can um, do or perform simulations on how the building is going to be affected by the climate, different ways of doing it. So I'll only leverage it to extract information like unit finishing schedules. But the first thing that we need to look at here is under the property manager. So if you go top there on your uh, menu bar, op click on options and then let's open a property manager uh, window. So in this window, um, they, are, they are property groups as you can see them. And this property groups contains property values. In this case, we're going to look at or focus on finishes because we are doing finishes schedules. So if you look at here, the finishes is a, is a group of, or a group that contains, more like a folder that contains the this property uh, values, which represent the items of our, our, our finishes schedules in our, in our specifications. So the most important thing here is to understand the, the settings of, of this. So to create a group, you hit on, you hit on this uh, new tab on the bottom left corner of your window. If you click on it, so this window will pop out, it will ask, ask you, you want to do a property or a group. So in this case, you start first by creating a group so that you can put in properties in it. So I'll click on the group. This group, I'll give it a name. I'll call it finishes tutorial. And then hit OK. So there we go. We now have uh, a group created. So if you want to put now uh, values or property values in this group, select it and then go back to the new tab again and then in this case this time around we're going to click on the property so by default when selected the group and then go click on the new by default it will select a group or it will give you a group to add on so you can also have or access the list of all the groups that are created here so and then hit ok no oh, give it a name I'll give it uh i'm going to create a property for floor finish a property for floor finish and then that's we go there we go now we have what we have a property for a floor finish so what you need to know is the value definition of this property here so we have different uh, data type here we can use um, this value as a, a number or as a length area volume depending on what you do but in this case i'm going to show you the option set i'm going to click on the option set and then under this option set it, it gives us a chance to um, create variation of the specifications of this floor finish if i'm making sense so i'll come in here and add blah 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 different types of um, of specifications of a floor just like that of a floor finish and then i'll hit okay so if you check now under the value 
we see there are different types of uh, flow finish uh, specifications as you can see so by default it will pick the first um, value the first value is the one that is being represented here so okay so let me just delete this for the sake of this um, okay let me also delete with the group and then let's go back to our our finishes the one that i already have in this template um by the way this template guys is currently available i'll put the link in the description so as you can see these are the things that um, you will spend much of your time trying to create rather take this and develop it to suit your your your, your standard it's highly customizable so let's see this what i've created here is the value or is the group of the 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 finishes uh, specifications and then it has it contains um values or property values like flow finish that will represent the items in my specification from the schedules so what i'll do what i did here is the 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 value definition of this is if you click on the option setup so i already added variation or different types of flow finishes specifications here for me to choose in or whatever anytime i want to depending on the design demands and of, of that particular project so hit okay what i want us to understand is how we've managed to uh, extract this data into our our schedules into our finishing schedules let's hit okay or cancel this so if you go to if you go back to our finishing schedule so this these are the uh, the column items that is representing the values of our property uh, uh, from the property manager as you can see and then these are the specifications from the option setup if you click on this tab you see there's a variation that you can choose in that's what we created from the the property manager using the option setup um, uh, method as you can see I, I really like this method because you can it's very or oh, it's highly interactive whatever changes you make here you can automatically it updates your 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 model okay so let us look at the scheme settings of this schedule or how we've intertwined or how we've managed to combine this with the property values so if you go to scheme settings go to scheme settings this windows or pop out the first thing that you need to do is the element criteria or the criteria of listing so in this case it's straightforward we're just using zones as our our element type so it will be just like this element type um, this by the way if you want to really learn this in depth there's a book that is um, uh, will be released on the 10th of june the book is called efficiency a key accurate features that will make your life easier so i'll i'll put the link in the description so you guys can pre-order this book i recommend you to pre-order it because pre-order comes with the half price of the actual price of the book so if you order it now you get it at a half price so it's going to be released on the 10th of this month 10th of june so just pre-order and then wait for the 10th to get your ebook it covers what the tu videos uh tutorials can't do for example these are things that um, we just browse hella in in in, in the video but in the book we go in depth and extract it exploit using illustrations images to further um, uh, explain what you are trying to say but in the video it's just a step by step that skips other important parts so our schedule also has the fields the fields as you can see they represent those items from the property uh manager or the property values 
only the two which is coming from the native uh, fields of your zone setup the element id and then related zone name so that's you get them just here um yeah i think that was it guys for this tutorial i hope this will give you a lot of insight a lot of light on how you can also do other uh, or extract other information from from your 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 model so yes i'll put the link of uh, in the description for this template if you want to download it i'll see you in the next video bye bye